Best sunscreen is stay inside. The second best sunscreen is great question though, very good question. Is I use these for fairly weird because like your arm sleeves, they're for golfers. They're like thin lycra and they're about UV 60, 70. And they're great. I put them on at 10 o'clock generally from riding around out the hills. So some of you have gone blessed with dark skin. Oh, I wish we had that, but uh, so us that don't have that awesome skin, cover up. You can use sunscreen as well if you want, but I think if you've got white skin and you're in the sun and you're using a chemical protection, it's good, but it's not as good as a mechanical protection, yeah? Like a physical protection by some clothing or some shade. So, try it to 7 a.m., man. 7 to 10 is a sweet spot. Cover your shoulders. You already have Sunburn lobsters. I've been there myself. So if you can avoid sun, sunburn, best. And just splash the water on your face if you get too hot. And, and what I do as well is I cut my shirt so the, the hair bits near my waist so the hair can get up there. Yeah, and I have shorts that are mid thigh. And the really baby girl drops in the back. And she shows a mid section. So I don't have to worry about it. Unless you're going to get burned, then cover up. It's just better to be too hot and covered than cool and burnt. Because you'll be burnt in bed that night. So, who's been sunburned? <laughs> Who has been sunburned? No, I love it. Air conditioning. Try a few nights without it. You get a fan, it's so much better the next day. How you wake up, I say foggy. Ja, gut. Ich hatte heute auch wieder Nasenblut. Ja, ich habe Und er hat die Preise auf. 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 Und Some people want to Canada, some people want to track or specialize, whatever. Some people want to get a taxi up the hill or it's a, whatever you want to do. If you want to do something, man, fucking do it. Do it. Make it happen. I used to work in a factory doing night shifts, breathing so much chemicals, and that factory got shut down. Yeah, now you can do it. But I want to do the road bike. I'm going to work every single night until I get that $50,000, and I'm going to quit this job. And the first night, I was so crap on the job, the guy was like, dude, you've been here an hour, you're dropping manifolds. On, I was dropping like 150 kilo V8 manifolds onto the ground. That's like a thousand bucks a pop that I have to throw out and recycle. And I'm dropping them like, just, like dropping like cornflakes. It's like, dude, I'm going to be honest with you, man, if you can't get it in the next 20 minutes, we're going to have to let you go. And I've got it. So I wanted that bike. So I thought, okay, show me one more time, show me one more time. And you show me, and I've got it. And he comes back, and he goes, what are you doing, mate? You're killing it. Killing it, so I want it, man. I want the job. All right. So, yeah, got the bike, quit the job. This is about do what you want to do. I want to help people with internet. Then start your YouTube. Then become a job, etc. So, I want to have a free. We want to have a free festival where people come all around the world. Not to pay an entry fee, and hang out with like-minded people. So we created the biggest event ever, and it's fucking free. But. Not to say we're the best, but it's what we put on. If you want to like it, whatever. So, does that mean you're not going to pay gold to the Woodstock Food Festival with no one there? Woodstock, that was 
we've got fruit festivals for sale, but uh, we're not interested in starting businesses. We're interested in starting revolutions. Communities, 30 bananas a day, biggest ever vegan forum, free. Biggest world food forum ever, free. When you bring money in, you bring in more politics, and main reason we got kicked off the Pioneer Board is money. So Doug wanted more money, and it went messy. But it's not going to crack our own. Take away the money, you take away a lot of the problems. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm Alright, one last question, it's 5.50. Sorry about that. Force it in. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Cut it off in half the time. Yeah. The question was, if you do some exercise, don't feel hungry afterwards, just force it in. Have a bottle of water, have some sweet juice and sweet fruit, and get that glycogen restoration. You've got about a 20 minute to one hour window where your glycogen retention, glycogen's energy, is so one more glycogen in your body. If you've done a bit of exercise, smash in a bit of water sugar straight away, so you recover for the next day. And then you stack that up every day of your life. And after five years, ten years, whatever, you smoke. 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 You no, we haven't yet. You have to contact me personally to respond. I was not allowed on the wheelchair from aeroplane. And maybe that is to be oh, I think oh, you're sorry. Sorry. You're right, right. I have the problem with my back. You're all good now. Is, I'm, uh, I'm better. I get last night a uh, conversation with the guy from Austria. He couldn't be here. And he told me what sort of exercise to do. And uh, it's like American standard. I've been yesterday in the hospital to give me injections and some strong tablets, which I didn't do because I don't want to poison myself. And, but even the injection is a healthy. I mean, I can. I've got the coffee. pain, but I'm standing. You when I'm standing, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm trying to get no more.